Hey guys, welcome back to another day of Mishmas. I've got my Santa Bear cup here. I don't know if I've ever shown you guys this, maybe uh, in a vlog previously, but I've got a little bear with a Santa hat in there and he's just covered when I've got my coffee in here. So he's very special to me. Welcome back, Santa Bear. All right, so today we're just, we're just gonna do like a trying new, you know what, we're gonna, we're gonna call this a trying new to me makeup because I'm realizing there's only maybe a couple of things in here that are actually new, but all of these things are new to me. So let's go ahead and get started. I am gonna start with the Victoria Beckham uh, Priming Moisturizer. I can never remember the full name. Cell Rejuvenating Priming Moisturizer. Uh, it's an illuminating complexion cream. I have been using this now for, probably for about a, a week, well, maybe over a week. I'm kind of withholding all of my opinions until I test this out for a good long time. But so many of you have been asking me what I think about it, and I really enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. I find it to be like just the perfect addition to my skincare regime now that we're in the winter time, it's a little bit dry, you know, you know all the things. So the texture of it is definitely on the thinner side for me. I usually use pretty dense creams, uh, but during the day, and again, as just like an extra layer, I love it. I really, really enjoy it. And it just, it sinks in beautifully, which is one of the reasons why I think it makes a really great primer because you don't want anything, well, at least me personally, I don't want anything too heavy on my skin before I go in with all of my makeup, especially if it hasn't sunken in yet. So I like that this, sinks in quickly. And even though this doesn't have like a sheen to it, I do feel like it makes my skin look very, very radiant. But it really does leave my skin looking very, very glowy and very, very healthy. And again, it's like it's all sunken in. There isn't any residue, but it just leaves my skin looking like lit, which is really, really nice. Um, and I do think that this would be good for up through like combo skin. I don't know about oily skin. I'm always just very, very hesitant in recommending anything for oily skin because my skin is so the polar opposite. Um, but I do think because it's this is light enough and it does absorb fairly quickly that I would recommend this up through like combo skin for sure. Next up, I have this foundation from Laura Mercier. Not new at all. And I wanted to get this foundation when it came out, but I just, I never got around to it. There's just too much makeup, too little time. And Laura Mercier was actually kind enough as sending this to me. And this is their Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. And I have it in the shade 2N 1.5 Beige. So I think this should work for me. Maybe it's a little bit deep, but I do think it should work for me. So this comes with a very nice pump, a glass bottle, plastic top. And this bottle is, I believe it's one fluid ounce. Yeah, it's 30 mils, one fluid ounce. And there's the consistency, like lotion-like, not too thin, not too thick. And I'm trying a new brush from BK Beauty. This is my friend Lisa J Makeup's uh, like beauty line. Right now they only have brushes, but I think she's coming out with makeup soon. Um, and this is the 106 brush. So she just actually came out with two cream product brushes, the 106 and the 105. Here's the 105, this big guy. Um, but I wanna use this 106 for foundation. I've used it a couple times already and it's quite nice. These are um, synthetic haired brushes. And so just as a comparison, um, here is the Sonia G base one brush that I like to use so often. So there's just like a size comparison. So I'm just gonna take some with the brush. Oh yeah, I think this shade will work. Hopefully actually it's not too light. It looked deeper in the bottle, didn't it? Oh, I well, just can never tell. All right, that was one full pump. I'm actually going to pump out another half pump about and finish up my forehead here. Oh, well, I think this brush does a great job. Really easy and it feels really, really nice. I think the coverage of this foundation looks really nice. I didn't put a ton on. I'd say it's like light medium, close to medium. You know what's interesting though is I don't find it radiant at all. It actually looks very natural and skin-like. I don't think it's matte. Maybe it's like a demi-matte, but yeah, it says radiance, right? Flawless Lumiere Radiance Perfecting Foundation. I was just expecting a little bit more glow, but it does look nice. It does look very, very like natural. And I think this shade works. So awesome. That was, what was this? 2 and 1.5, if you are curious. Uh, let's move on to concealer, which I definitely 
definitely neat today. So I don't have any new concealers to try, so why don't we just stick with the Laura Mercier situation, and I have her Flawless Fusion Longwear, sorry, Ultra Longwear Concealer, and I have this in shade 2N, and I've had this concealer for a while, and I really enjoy it, and this shade is a nice kind of like corrector shade because it's so peachy. So I'm just gonna use my finger to blend that in. Actually, let me use the Lisa J brush. I wanna see how this works for concealer also. Nice, nice, blended in nicely. Doesn't look streaky or anything. Cool. All right, and now for powder. So uh, Laura Mercier sent me the um, translucent glow powder, but I actually had a little one in my drawer that I had purchased a while ago. And I got the little one because I wasn't sure how glowy it was gonna be. Is it something I could wear all over? I was just trying to get a feel for it. And it is quite glowy. It actually reminds me of that Lancome, the Absolute Powder in Abs, I think it's Absolute Pesh. I always get, yes, I think it's Absolute Pesh. So normally I would not use this powder all over my face. I feel like it's a little bit too micro glittery, but since it's Mish Miss, I'm gonna go ahead and use it all over my face. All right, I'm gonna use my Sonia G Master Face Brush, and I'm going to dip in here and just start to pounce it onto the skin. I hope you guys can see how glowy it is. And I don't like glowy powders generally to set my eyes, but we're gonna try something different today. Now I'm just gonna buff it. Usually with setting powder, I'll just kind of sweep the extra away, but I'm gonna buff, which is also why I chose this brush, because it has a nice round shape to it. It's nice for buffing. All right, so there it is all over the face. I hope you guys can see like the really subtle kind of like gold <laughs> shimmer that's all over my face right now. And it really is quite pretty. It's just not something I'm comfortable wearing like every single day, but it is really, really nice for party look, holiday look, evening look, or hey, if you're someone that's just into it, no judgment here at all. If you can rock it, I would say rock it. All right, next up for contour and bronzer. Now you guys have seen me use this product already, but it is still very new to me and I just love it so much. This is the Scott Barnes uh, Sculpting Palette and I've just been loving this Crave color, which is pretty much the lightest color in here, but I'm loving that for just bronzing up my complexion, doing a little contouring. It's just been wonderful. And then I'm gonna grab some of this hashtag shade just a little bit and run that under my jawline. All right, we're gonna stop there. God, I just love the tones of this contour. It's so pretty. Let's move over into blush. So I hauled this, when did I haul this? I hauled this, I think, for my VIB sale. Yes, this was uh, part of the last order <laughs> that I placed on Sephora during the VIB sale. But this is the Givenchy Prisme Blush and Angela Van Rose, a wonderful creator here on YouTube, she actually recommended these blushes. So I got the shade 03 Spice. This is like a very cool like duotone blush. So we have like a lighter peach and then a deeper peach in here. I'm just gonna swirl both together and I'm gonna use my refer number 24 brush. And it was one of the options. You could choose this 24 brush over here or you could choose the number five brush, which is a little bit more of like a traditional blush brush, but the 24 is much, much denser. So it's great for like buffing and it's great for like a heavier application, which I like. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go between the two shades here. Ooh, it's so pretty. Just start to buff that in. Ooh, oh, no. there's a slight fragrance. I wanna say it's kind of smells like candy, but like so, so slight, almost like powdery candy. Ooh, I like how bright that blush is. Ooh, that's awesome. Well, thank you, Angela Van Rose, for recommending these Givenchy blushes. I'm really, I'm quite smitten with this color pairing though. Like I love how bright that peach looks. So that is number three, Spice. Oh, I should probably mention the finish of this blush. It's like a demi-matte. It's like a demi-matte. It's not a flat matte. It's not powdery looking at all. It has just a little bit of something there, but I wouldn't call it satin. Maybe just like a very subtle satin sheen. It's just, it's very, very pretty. All right, moving on. Um, highlight, okay. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited for this highlighter. So this is the Chanel 
Duo de Camellias highlighter. This is the special one that came out for holiday. I just hauled this for you guys. So this is the one with the dual pan and it finally became available on their site after I randomly ordered it, but it finally became available, I believe on Friday, like Black Friday. Um, and I posted on Instagram and you should definitely follow me on Instagram. If you're into like hearing about uh, when products hit sites and things like that, I try and let you guys know when things become available because things sell out so quickly these days. It's, it's tough to keep up. So anyway, here is the highlighter and I think I'm just gonna swirl between the two. I'm just gonna do it. This side is like a gold, this side is like a pearly white and I'm gonna use my Sonia G soft cheek brush and I'm just going to swirl between the two and add this. Ooh, wow. Holy shiny. Let's take a close look at this. There are like little bits of micro glitter in there. That is really, really shiny. This one is quite different than that metal peach holiday version that they had, the one that looked like the Chanel button. That formula I found a little bit difficult to pick up, but once you got it, it was gorgeous. You can even use your finger to do it um, and apply it to your cheek and it's absolutely gorgeous. So the color of that is much more peach. This is a much cooler kind of like a white base like gold and pearl tone. So there's that difference. And then the formula is just very different. You can see like this is, uh, there's it's more powdery. So you can see there's a bit more like kick up going on where that one was a little bit more like creamy, which is why I suspect it was a little bit more difficult to pick up. They are not holding back when it comes to highlighters these days. I feel like I've tried a lot of banging highlighters lately between the Private Society palettes, the Scott Barnes palette, we are all gonna be shining to the heavens. All right, let's move on to eyebrows. And I wanna try this Tom Ford Brow Gel Comb for men. So this doesn't have a tint to it at all. It's just gel. It's just to kind of keep your brows in place. So I think I'm gonna fill my brows in a little bit with like a pencil, and then I'll come back and we'll use this uh, gel comb together. All right, I just filled in my brows. Um, I'll list everything that I'm using on my face down below in my description box if you're interested, but let's move on to this Tom Ford brow gel comb. I'm really excited for this. I've always been tempted. So this is part of the For Men line whatever. So this is what it looks like. Here is the little comb top there. And then like right in between, I can see a hole, which is where I'm guessing the gel comes out of. So I'm going to go ahead and start twisting. You know, take a while. there. All right. So the gel popped out. Now I'm afraid there's a little bit too much there. It actually feels very light. It doesn't feel that sticky. Oh, is there? Oh my God. Oh, I think there is tint in there. Like a little bit. No way. This just got really exciting for me. I am going to, I don't even know what to do. I'm going to just start. Oh, Ooh. okay. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe a little bit too much. Maybe that's why this is for men. Let's see. Oh, oh wait. You guys, I kind of like this. It almost does like a, like a tinting job. All right, why am I so obsessed with Tom Ford brow products? Why, this is another one. This is so good. You guys know how much I love the fiber brow gel, which is always just sitting out here. And I don't know, I just thought this would be fun to play with a little like brow gel comb, but this is freaking awesome. You guys, this is good. Yeah, I really feel like this gave me like a brow tint. What? Okay, next time I'm gonna definitely have to try this without filling in my brows first, just so if we can see like a difference. I really, I don't know, I assume that it was a clear gel because there were no shades or anything, but it has just a little bit, just a hint of color. I'm not sure how this would work if you have blonde hair and, and light, you know, light brows. I'm not sure. But if you have dark brows, wow. And it's dried down and it's not crunchy. It's not crunchy at all. It just feels like a little, a little sticky. It kind of feels like the fiber brow gel. Just, well, maybe a little bit lighter, but yeah, it doesn't feel like sticky or crunchy. That was another fear of mine that it was just going to feel like, I don't know, 
hard. I don't like that in my brows because I move my brows a lot and the last thing I need is for it to feel crunchy. Okay, have any of you guys used this? Have you guys been holding out on me? Because this is freaking awesome. Okay, Michelle, calm down. Man, the next time there's a sale, I think I'm gonna buy backups. Uh, All right, let's calm down and move over into eyeshadows. So this was something um, that is fairly new that I hauled uh, a while ago and I just haven't gotten a chance to use them. But these are those little Lorac palettes. Um, they're in collaboration with Rachel Zoe and I purchased these off of the Lorac site because I think they're available on Ulta but they didn't have all of them. Anyway, I just wanted to order from one site so I went ahead and ordered from the Lorac site. So this one is Golden Eyes and this is such a cute little palette. Um, here's the Givenchy blush palette. So it's like about the same size as that, maybe a little wee bit smaller. Super cute, super handy. Six shadows in here, all very, very shimmery. And then we have, which one is this one? Glamorous Affair. And this one has some serious like glitter. That's like pressed glitter, but there are some mattes in here. So maybe we can use more than one. And then let me just show you the last one called Black Tie. And you guys know what attracted me initially to this line was all the animal print on here. So here's leopard print. So, so pretty too. There are some like repeat shades in some of these here. So that like blue, deep, deep, dark blue shade is in both of these little palettes. I'm gonna use my Sony G Blender Pro Brush and go into this matte shade. This is in the Glamorous Affair little guy and I'm gonna use this very lightly. I don't think I've ever used Lorac shadows before but my good friend here Risa of Risa Does Makeup, you guys all know her, <laughs> Risa Does Makeup, she loves Lorac shadows and I've just been kind of I guess keeping my eye out for uh, like a palette that I, I would personally really like and like kind of use all the shadows and these little guys really spoke to me so I thought it was a good time to dive in and give it a shot. So anyway let's start with that matte and <laughs> trying to use this teeny tiny mirror in here. That's fine. I think it works. Pigmentation is nice. Blends nicely. No fallout with this matte shade, which is great. Nice. All right, let's keep going. I'm going to move over into this Golden Eyes palette, and I am going to use this gold shade down here and I'm going to put that all over like my lid basically from this the inside all the way over to the center and I'm going to use my W23 brush from Esam. This is the bigger flat shader brush. I would normally use my W21 but it's dirty right now <laughs> so I'm going to use my W23 and put ooh ooh that's nice. Very very shiny, very metallic and really like smooth. It almost looks like a cream shadow when I put it on. Definitely a little bit of fallout there with that shade. I don't know if you guys can see, but I have a few gold specks there. Really, really pretty. Okay, I'm liking the mattes. I'm liking the metallics. I have to use this green shade. This, look how pretty that is. It's like an emerald in eyeshadow form. I'm gonna use this definitely on like my outer corner and bring it in. Okay, I think I'll lay it down with my um, W36 brush, uh, my Esam one that I love for the outer corner. I'm gonna lay it down with that and then maybe I'll take another brush to really like blend it over onto the gold. We'll see, we'll see what happens. Ooh, really pretty, and it's playing really nicely with that gold. I'm just wondering if I need to blend it out a little bit more where they meet. I think I will. Let me take a clean Esam S33 brush, and I'm just gonna kind of graze my brush over that area. That looks really pretty. I'm gonna use that green on my lower lash line. I'm just gonna grab a pencil brush. I don't know where my T05 brush went. It's in this mess. Okay, I'm gonna take my Esam S31 brush and go into this green. It should work. This green is a little bit chunky or flaky. I don't know if you guys can see that in the pan, but um, I'm afraid of it having a little bit of fallout if I use it on my lower lash line. Using it on my outer corner, I actually don't see any fallout there, but We'll see. Ooh, how fun. All right, well, I only used a few of these shadows, but so far I'm liking these little Lorac minis. These are so cool. These would also make really great stocking stuffers if you have like an eyeshadow lover in your life or someone who just likes 
animal print like I do, they would probably love these. I should have mentioned these in my uh, gift ideas. But anyway, great first experience with Lorac shadows. Really lovely. Well, let me apply mascara off uh, camera because I don't have uh, anything new. I'm just gonna use my Tom Ford Badass Mascara and then I'll be back to do some lips. All right, now for lips. I pulled these out. Uh, these were sent to me from Dear Dahlia and when I hauled these, I got a lot of requests to uh, try these on for you guys and talk about the formulas a little bit. So they have three, yeah, three different formulas that they sent me. They have a straight up like lipstick. Then they sent me two of their lip treatments and then one of their lip tints. So, well, let's just take them all out because I don't quite remember the shades that they sent me. I think the lipstick that they sent me is really, really bright. That may actually work if we wanna do a fun, oh yeah. <laughs> if we wanna do like a kind of fun holiday look. This, oh wow, this is the uh, lip treatment in Twilight. So these are like a glosses, so it's definitely not gonna come out quite this bright. And then here's a lip treatment in Stardust. This is so pretty. And then here is the lip tint in Bordeaux, which I remember thinking I didn't think was very Bordeaux-esque. It was a little bit more like a brighter tomato red. So these are pretty much just kind of like clear glosses. Let me just swatch them on my hand for you. So this is uh, Twilight and this is Stardust. So I'm not gonna put these on. I think it's between the lipstick and this lip tint. I guess we can try both. All right, let me try the lipstick first. And again, this is in the color Bella. Ooh, I do like these bright peachy colors. The formula is very nice. It's very pigmented. It's definitely like a cream lipstick. It doesn't feel matte at all. It doesn't look matte at all, right? It has a little bit of a sheen. It doesn't have like a scent per se. It actually smells like skincare. It smells very herbal. I also just got some on my nose, but like faint, super, super faint. I only got like a slight whiff of it as I was applying it, but it does feel very, very nice on the lips. Okay, let's remove this and then try this lip tint because I'm very interested in this formula. Okay, so here is the lip tint and I'm just gonna show you this formula. It's like moussey and I think it's, you know, kind of a matte. Oh, excuse me, the full name of this, it's so small. All I could read was lip tint down here, but the full name of this is the Paradise Dream Velvet Lip Mousse Lip Tint. Okay, that makes much more sense. Uh, yeah, it has a whipped velvety texture, effortlessly glides on, and then it has a soft focus powdery matte finish. All right, let's give it a shot. I really do like this color. And again, it smells like skincare. You know, it's so, it's it's funny because it looks very, very matte, but when I squeeze my lips together, it's so creamy. What an interesting formula. I do wonder if it's eventually gonna dry down a bit and start to feel a little bit dry. So I'm definitely gonna leave this one on just for testing purposes. And I will leave uh, like an update in the description box to let you know like how this wore, like, you know, if it started to feel a little bit dry, if it started to look even a little bit more dry, because right now I don't even think it looks drying it just looks matte it just looks like it has a flat matte finish all right well that is it for my trying like new to me makeup i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for tuning in i really appreciate it give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it subscribe down below if you are into mishmas videos and i will see you in my next video